Maytag knows that not everyone is a member of the Clean Plate Club. Broccoli nubs, gristle bits, onion slivers, Maytag... <clears throat> Maytag's not gonna let these kind of meal scraps gum up the works. With a four-blade stainless steel chopper and the most powerful motor on the market, if you don't need it, you can be sure the Maytag will chew it up for you. Maytag Appliances, now available at More Furniture in Efreda. The City of Quincy plans to invest $1 million into the Quincy Valley Medical Center. Council members discussed it during their last City Council meeting. The investment would buy a fifth of the hospital debt from the county, which currently owns $5 million in warrants owed by the Medical Center. City of Quincy Mayor Jim Hembury says the city rejected the idea of investing in the hospital over four years ago, but now a plan to merge the hospital with another health care provider seems promising. Right now, from where we sit, that, that looks like a very viable plan. And obviously, it's important to the city, uh, not only for the safety of the people who live here, but uh, you know, if you want to uh, attract businesses or, uh, or new people to this area, they, they look at uh, safety, schools, something like hospitals and, and medical care. Those are important to them. And to have an ER still here in the city of Quincy is very important, and especially with all the construction that's going on here. So um, it looks like a very viable plan, something that the city is very interested in supporting. And one of the ways we can support that is to purchase a, por um, a portion of the registered warrants that the county holds right now. Hembury says he's confident that the hospital can eventually pay down all of its debt because of a partnership. The city itself would make money from the in interest paid by the hospital to the city. Hembury says the city would use that money to reinvest. Money spent on the hospital would come from the General Fund, the Street Fund, the Street Construction Reserve Fund, and the Water Fund. $250,000 would come out of each of the four accounts. Now permanently hired Quincy Valley Medical Center CEO Glenda Bishop says the city's involvement will do wonders for the hospital and the local community. As the CEO of the hospital, I've never been more encouraged than I am today. And the uh, support of our city council uh, the support of our mayor means so much, not just to me as the CEO of Quincy Valley Medical Center, mm -hmm. but as a taxpayer and as a resident of Quincy, to know that the city supports local hospital services to me is um, indicative of, of good leadership and a strong belief in a, in a sound and healthy governmental infrastructure, which includes local health care. Hambury believes the City Council will officially vote to approve the purchase of hospital debt during their next meeting on October 17th. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News.